much crack a like and sick more. Happy fantastic Friday and welcome to this episode of the SJH Aviator Airways Daily Video Announcements. Today is August 30th. Hello, I'm Andrew. Hi, I'm Carter. Source Sycamore with respect, responsibility, safety, and creative problem solving. It is time now to be respectful and stand with our fellow aviators, place our hands over our hearts, and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all and please be seated. Take a moment to recognize why we are off Monday. Labor Day was created to recognize the worker, the worker contributions to the country's strengths and well-being. Now let's go over to the clubs and activities. It's clubs and activities announcements time. An informational meeting for the International Club will be, will be held during flex in room 2254 two, today. If you are interested, grab a flex class from Ms. Wolford before flex bell today. Or if you already made up your mind to join this club, just email Mrs. Wolford at wolfordm at sycamoreschool.org to inform that you are joining. Yearbook. The yearbook club is looking for photographers. If you are interested in documenting the school year and seeing your photos published, please attend an informational meeting next Thursday, September 5th in Ms. Spielman's art room, 2155. Please stop by and pick up a flex pass before Thursday in Miss Spielman's art room. Again, that is 2155 so that you can attend. Yearbook Club is open to all students, even if you have a fall activity. Hope to, hope to see you there. Reminder, if you're going to the high school home football game tonight, make sure to follow the stadium rules. Don't hang out behind the bleachers. We can hang out in the green zone areas. No backpacks. <laughs> into the game. Leave them at home. You cannot leave and return back to the game. No footballs or any type of game play and no horse play or climbing fences. Reminder, the football game is an extension of the classroom and school discipline could occur if there's a code of conduct violation. Enjoy the game, be safe, and go waves. Mark your calendars. Next Thursday, September 5th, is one of our first school-wide spirit days. Everyone planned to to wear your favorite team's football jersey for the regular NFL season kickoff weekend starting Thursday night. The following Wednesday, September 11th, Patriots Day, plan to wear red, white, and blue to honor and remember those who lost their lives in the terrible acts of terrorism. Partners Club. Check out this flyer for Partners Club. Mark your calendar for the first me meeting starting to start October 2nd with Miss Lisa in room 1260. Partners Club will continue to meet the first Wednesday of each month at 3 to 4 p.m. Any questions, contact Ms. Lisa at crispl at sycamoreschools.org. Next up, Beach Bash. We have raised only 5,800 out of our 50,000 so far. It's a great start, but we need to step it up, Sycamore Junior High. We need to raise 50,000 in the next few weeks. We have a raffle, we have a raffle drawing today to to draw three eligible prize winners. Remember to be eligible, you must be entered in the weekly raffle. You must have raised some money. Way to go, seventh graders. You are well on your way to get candy in your flex bill next week. Next week is the Beach Bass fundraising competition between the seventh and eighth graders. Whichever class has raised the most by next Thursday will get candy party and flex bill. Let's do this, Sigma Junior High. Again, here is the QR code to link your parents' supply chart to get registered and start getting your donations. Here are the possible prizes for the weekly drawing are a Stanley Cup, a Lego Fast and Furious set, a Sephora gift card, a Dick's Sporting Goods gift card, a clay bead bracelet making set, a spike ball game set, a Galaxy projector, a GameStop gift card, a Target gift card, and a locker organizer decorating kit. Over to Mr. Stern, our athletic director and dean of students. 
Good afternoon, Aviator Nation, and happy Friday. I hope you're looking forward to a nice, uh, well, for you guys, it's a four-day weekend. In fact, I don't think we've ever had that before. So uh, that'll be really unique uh, to your schedule. Of course, teachers were, were here on Tuesday. Uh, so some of you uh, might be having practices. So make sure that you are checking uh, with your coaches. Um, speaking of sports, I want to give a big shout out to the cross-country team. So last Friday, uh, they were involved in the Moeller Invitational and they just crushed it. Um, the girls finished first, and out of hundreds of runners, we had five girls finish in the top 10, and that's pretty unheard of. Um, so congratulations for that first place finish. On the boys' side, I wanna give a shout out to Andrew Poor. Uh, Andrew was the overall winner on the boys' side at the Moeller Invitational. He won, he was the fastest boy. Um, that's pretty amazing. So congratulations to our cross-country team. Folks, I'm here to talk to you today about the bus. So I want you to think about your behavior in the classroom, and I want you to think about your behavior on the bus. So there are things that you would not do in the classroom. I don't think that you would cuss out loud. I don't think you would leave trash all over the place. Um, I, I don't think that you would scream and then be um, above a what would be an expected noise level. Folks, those are the same expectations we expect on the bus. No littering, um, keep it to the noise to a minimum. Um, we want to ensure that your language is appropriate because if your bus driver writes you up, we treat it as a school write-up. So that could be a lunch DT, it could be a Friday school, it could be a Saturday school, and of course, if it's on the bus, it could also be a bus suspension. So when you're thinking about your behavior on the bus, please think about, would I do that in the classroom? If you're thinking that's not appropriate in the classroom, it's also not appropriate on the bus. So, um, you know, a question that I get from a lot of students, they say, Mr. Stern, when, when you meet with us, do you call my parents? And the answer is yes, yes, we always call your parents because they don't like when they don't know that something happened at school. And they certainly don't like when we call them down the road and we say, well, hey, back in September they did this, but we didn't let them know about it. So we want to ensure that when you have mistakes in the classroom, I know sometimes they're not mistakes, but when you have behaviors in the classroom, you have behaviors on the bus, yeah, we do make that phone call home as well, so please expect that. Hey, we want you to have a wonderful three-day weekend. Uh, enjoy what will be considered some mild weather after what we've had this week, and we will see you guys on Wednesday. Thanks, Mr. Stern. Be informed. Check those emails every day. Be a responsible young adult and make this a great place to work. Next, Next up, up, birthdays. Celebrating today are Simon P. Marco J. Shirojidin Y. Christina H. Andy S. Enjoy celebrating your special day and celebrating over the weekend, Simon W. Drew G. Now K. Ryland B. Atai K. And staff members, Mrs. Beattie. And Mr. Jones. Next, joke, joke of the day. day. What do you call a sheep who can sing and dance? I don't know. What? Lady Baba. <laughs> well, that's all we have for today. Enjoy your full day weekend. Make marvelous choices. Open your mind to new learning. And go Waves! test in the morning and have special schedules for the remainder of the day. Oh. Did you hit the button? It's recording. Wait, there's people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Hello, Hello everyone. Oh. You Sorry. said you were being. Oh, wait. Yeah, that is my bad. Go. Okay. Hello. We're good. You're good. Nope. All right. Happy, Happy school, year. school year. <laughs> You're, you're reading. We are Next up. Birth Next, Next up. Birthday. Go, Go aviators. Why'd you say aviators? Because it says aviators. What